So how do we design for the 21st century learner? Should we use the Singapore teaching practice to help us? When we design for the 21st century learner, we will need to consider the use of technology in our lessons. How about using the SLS pedagogical scaffold? I understand it guides teachers in the design of lessons harnessing technology. Is there any difference between the two? Which one should we use? Let us find out more about the Singapore Teaching Practice or STP from the STP website. For teachers, STP helps us to teach effectively so that our students can learn better. The four core processes at the heart of pedagogical practices make explicit what teachers put into practice and reflect on before, during and after their interaction with the students in all learning contexts. The teaching area of deciding on teaching aids and learning resources seem to be most relevant for us. It helps us to understand the what and why of choosing ICT resources. It also has a set of considerations to guide our design. However, how do we use these considerations? I see these considerations in the SLS Pedagogical Scaffold. The SLS Pedagogical Scaffold is a design tool that provides us with a way to think about using technology for active learning. The three design phases consist of questions for teachers to consider the learning outcomes, the type of activities, the role of technology in these activities and the expected evidence of learning when designing technological enriched lessons. See how each design phase of the SLS pedagogical scaffold is aligned to the teaching processes in the STP. Phase 1 of the SLS pedagogical scaffold guides the teachers to establish the learning outcomes. It sits with the STP teaching process, lesson preparation where the intended learning outcomes are established right from the start. Phase 2 of the SLS pedagogical scaffold guides teachers to design and facilitate active learning with technology. It sits with the STP teaching process, lesson enactment. Phase 3 of the SLS pedagogical scaffold guides teachers to assess quality of students' learning. It sits with the STP teaching process assessment, and feedback. 